And so the technologists get lost in these debates about whether it can or can't do something. And they lose sight of the fact that it can simulate things, though. Like, right. even if it isn't actually reasoning, it is producing a valuable output that impacts jobs. It simulates behaviors and emotions and actions at or above a human level. And it creates the perception of these abilities. So whether it can or can't do the thing, it really doesn't matter because we have to be humble enough to realize we don't even understand how the human brain is doing reasoning. And maybe it's not actually that different than the way we do reasoning. Right. You kind of get annoyed with that stuff. But <laughs> so just to dive real quick into the actual essay. So it says we naturally anthropomorphize objects around us. We name our cars or feel bad for a robot vacuum stuck under furniture. The article continues, my mom and I waved bye to a Waymo the other day. It probably has something to do with how we're wired. The difference with ChatGPT isn't that human tendency itself. It's that this time it replies. A language model can answer back. It can recall what you told it, mirror your tone, and often what reads as empathy. Again, not real empathy. It doesn't feel anything, but it simulates it, and that matters. Mm -hmm. For someone lonely or upset, that steady, non-judgmental attention can feel like companionship, validation, and being heard, which are real needs. 